what's up guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are my old subscribers and if you're seeing me for the very first time hi my name is vicky thanks so very much for clicking on my videos to watch guys like you guys know me as an amebo person doing amebo based on big brother ninja but like i told you guys that i was going to take my amebo to another level to more or less about gist gossip celebrity gist entertainment in general so here we are if you see me for the very first time before we get right into this video please hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video thank you turn on your notification most important sir. thank you thank you so guys we actually want to address the issue of chacha ak that has been going on on the internet like make we do small amebo about him make we talk about him i think i feel like not like amebo in the wrong sense but like let us discuss it let's talk about it let's know what's up with this whole thing that has been going on because i really did not make a video about it what i'm about to say is for those of you who do not know chacha ike chacha ike is a nigerian celebrity like she's an actress like she acts nollywood movies you get and she is a top-notch actress like we really really she does really really well in her career but for some reason after this lady got married she just disappeared into thin air not like she doesn't act anymore she does act but you know that situation whereby you were you were relevant and all of a sudden you just just you just as as in i i really do not know how to say it. you disappeared or or you just i don't know she just like lost relevance or was like she was like more or less like in the background right now but let me not just go on to blab about her whole career or how the whole thing turned out after her marriage let's get into the real thing that made me that is making me make this video i'm crazy i'm not but this video is to let the world know that i'm done with the marriage i don't have a lot to prove that i'm done with him but i'm done i'm done i'm living with my life finally i can't say a lot now but you hear my story so like four days back chacha ike came online and told us that she is done with her marriage i think it's like close to a week now she's done with her marriage and this lady has been married for seven years and most people came online and we were talking about ah that we we, we can see that the whole the marriage of a thing was eating this lady up it wasn't really favoring her immediately she got uh, got married everything changed about her she started emaciating she started looking haggard tattered and yes even i myself i thought about it too you get she started looking some sort of way that i really do not understand but i i really could not i for me i could not say it's her marriage i was feeling like maybe the whole motherhood thing just is getting a better part of her you get or is weighing her down and then she comes up with an excuse of the fact that she is trying to lose weight she is trying to she's not doing makeup anymore and the, in fact the whole drama that after she dropped this video people started adding like connecting the dots so i don't know the drama to use you get and now started wondering that oh that's why she was looking uh, she lost a lot of weight oh that's why she said she stopped making up oh that's why she's looking haggard and tattered we said a whole of it like people started that insinuating people said she was going through domestic violence after dropping that video people said the guy was maltreating her people said the guy was beating her and then her brother came online hmm. her brother came online and said that it is far from domestic violence yes there might be a lot of things on that but it is not domestic violence that's what the chacha ike's brother came to say online and then we were like hmm, there's a lot of things that we do not know about this whole thing that has been going on and then all of a sudden just day before yesterday or yesterday she dropped another video and if you go to her page like on instagram you wouldn't see the video where she dropped about she quitting the marriage because it, it was making it look as if she was going mad they were try, try, they were beginning to insinuate that she was going mad you get but she now dropped a video day before yesterday and she said yes the day before yesterday and she said that um, she wanted to clear the air about what bloggers have been writing that um, her husband has never laid a finger on her her husband has never done this that 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 um, she has been seeing the psychiatrist that she's in the hospital if I, let me just drop the video for you guys to see five days ago i made a video saying that my marriage to us and family is over and that video came with a lot of backlash from people, with many insinuating that it's a clear case of domestic violence. It's not. Austin has never laid his hands on me. He has never even raised his voice at me. And God in heaven knows that's the truth. 
I'm here at First Delta American Hospital as I'm receiving treatment. Several psychiatrists have come to uh, assess me mentally and I have been diagnosed of bipolar disorder. Bipolar is real. Here in Africa, we tend to not know about it due to ignorance or overlook it. I cannot tell you all how I've been feeling with these tiny, tiny videos that I've been making. But I will, however, show you in motion pictures soon. So after hearing all what Chacha just said, she said she's in the hospital, that she has seen a psychiatrist, that she has bipolar bipolar disorder, whatever that means, guys. But one thing stood out, it, 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 it all looks as if she, I like, I, I don't see any reason why she should be in the hospital. And after dropping a video of leaving the marriage, what she is thinking about is clearing the husband's name immediately, you understand. And then what that happened was, the brother, I'm going to read what her elder brother or younger brother, whoever the brother is, I don't know if he's elder or younger, wrote, you get. Because after she dropped that video, the video was dropped on her page. We now realize that the husband was the one that forced her to make the video and dropped it on her page. Let me read what the brother had to say. The brother said, I don't like drama. I don't fight on social media. I prefer to be low-key on social media, but I don't ignore this. But I don't, I won't ignore this because it's all shades of wrong and evil firstly Ch chacha has not used the phone for the past five days and she did not put that video well we saw her in the video and she stated it maybe i don't know and then she said secondly she does not have bipolar disorder <laughs> Third, thirdly i don't know how that video was made why did he post such information without her consent because she is not aware that he posted the video wow i'm as in are you guys thinking what i'm thinking because i really do not understand that i said it's not a case of domestic violence does not mean you are innocent are you guys seeing what i'm saying are you hearing that like she said he said that he said it's not a case of domestic violence because he was the one that still came online and said it's not a case of domestic violence he now said the world knows there is a cover-up here be careful mr man i wonder why he is in a haste to clear his name at her expense someone you claim to love next time use your ig account if you desperately want to clear your name meanwhile for every smart move i'm here to counter it slow your roll let sleeping dogs lie like there's a whole lot of things concerning this church i came marriage like you know sometimes you know the problem about domestic violence or like depression or like when people are in toxic relationship eh? there's something they call i've forgotten i have really forgotten if i if i remember the word i'm going to put it on the screen that you know when you are being oppressed by people at the end of the day sometimes you see yourself you that is being oppressed defending the person that is oppressing you, you get because as a woman I'm, I'm going to say this from the end of a woman i feel like Sometimes when people are going through, when women are going through such problems in marriage, in relationships, the first thing they think of, if I leave this marriage, what will become of me? Sometimes it's not because they are not financially dependent. Sometimes it's what will the society think of me? How will the society see me? How are they going to look at me? And some of us will go as far as saying, what will happen to my children? How will my children cope? You know, there are a lot of excuses for women that we, we, we come up with lots of excuse why we shouldn't live toxic relationship why we shouldn't live abusive marriages why we should why we should not walk away we come up we have a thousand and one reason why we shouldn't walk away but at the end of the day i feel like your peace of mind your happiness is paramount because some people said it's not domestic violence trust me domestic violence is not just physical abuse some people are abused emotionally some people are abused psychologically and yes if there's a physical one and also there are many types of abuse they are verbal abuse and then all this kind of abuse apart from the physical abuse might just come up and mess up with your mind make you lose sanity make you slide into depression but because of the fact that you don't want people to talk about you you don't want people to see you as bad you don't want people to you you don't want that stigma like people saying she's a divorcee or she left her husband because at the end of the day some people will not even listen to know why that lady left the husband or why that guy left they just be like she know she, she know be she know be one day submissive they just do not want to care like i'm saying this now from the aspect of a woman i really there are men who go through this same shit in marriage but my own opinion is if you cannot take it bounce as because at the end of the day your peace of mind is paramount because 
There no way we know where we didn't write and say you must die inside marriage. If you know marry or if you leave your marriage, you go lose value. It's how you carry yourself after it happens that really matters. But in church I case case, I, I feel like even if since she doesn't know now, like what the brother is saying, that she's not aware of the guy putting out that this thing. I'm like, so how did she make the video? Because if you look at it, it looks as if she's reading it and that lady might not be psychologically okay. She might not be mentally fine at the end of the day. And the husband, all he could think of is to clear his name, is to make himself look sane in the eyes of the public, is to make himself look okay. I like, I've never read, he, he, he just implicates himself more, you understand. But church I case case, because if you see the way they relate, you feel like, oh my god, these people are so sweet together, but you don't know the devil she is fighting in that mar marriage. I really feel bad for her. I really, I feel some type of way you get, but in everything, I just hope that she has people around her that are actually going to talk to her, that are actually going to rally around her and like make her stabilized do you understand because it's crazy this whole thing has there's a lot to it and i feel like when chacha is okay she's actually going to come to give us more info about it and trust me guys your number one baby i'm always here to tell you guys as in keep you guys up, uh, updated as events unfold you get i'm going to tell you guys how it they go so i just feel like if you're chacha you're related to her you know her or whatever it is i feel she needs help that's an obvious fact whether she needs help from her husband or she needs help psychologically or whatever kind of help but trust me that lady really needs help and i feel like the husband I never get word for until maybe so, when it is when when we really know so to put mouth for this kind of matter judge one sided but at the end of the day I feel like there will be a time where we will really know where it is coming from and we will know how we go put marriage no easy at all like at all you get so I just felt like let me come and keep you guys updated because that the very envious marriage like the kind of marriage you will see and you will love of Chacha Ike has really crashed and I don't know if it has crashed for real or they are going still going to work on it but whatever it is but at, at the moment there is tumblings and i just felt like let me come on here and keep you guys updated let me come and gist with you guys i hope you guys are doing fine i hope you enjoyed this gist if you enjoyed this kind of gist leave it in the comment section i really want to hear from you what do you guys think about the whole chacha ik um scenario or the old chacha ik situation with her marriage please guys i would love to hear from you your own opinion what you think about it leave all in the comment section and if you've been watching me up to this point and you have not subscribed kilo day waiting up on how far now he's on the red subscribe button and join my family thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching i really love you guys and i will most definitely see you guys in my next video take care of yourself guys and bye for now